Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Alright, Friday Night Fights on ESPN2 is officially over. Officially fucking over. We have no more Friday Night Fights from ESPN2. Uh, now we have Premier Boxing Champions on ESPN2. Al Heyman and Premier Boxing Champions took over the Friday Night Fights slot. It's a good deal for ESPN because, you know, now uh, they used to pay everybody, the fighters, the, the, for the, like, the, they'd put up the, the risk of getting advertisement, and, you know, they had to go through the hassle of finding fighters and promoters to, for each week. Now they do nothing except collect a check because Al Heyman is going to buy it the time slot, and then he'll take care of everything and put in a PBC show. The only thing is... Sorry, the only thing is, all these fighters that we used to watch on, uh, you know, ESPN2 coming up, you're not going to be able to get on the Friday Night Fights anymore unless you sign with one specific guy, Al Heyman. You're going to have to sign an Al Heyman advisor's contract or you can't get the Friday Night Fights exposure. You know how many fighters are on the come up that, you know, are dying to get on, um... Friday Night Fights, but they don't want to give up their fucking veto power of opponent and have uh, Al Heyman have 100% all-around complete control of their career? A lot. A lot. Okay, uh, the money. The money. <clears throat> he'll get some fighters, obviously. He'll pay them something, you know, because he got other people's money to spend, so he'll spend their money and pay the fighters, uh, but... A lot of fighters, you know, God, uh, if I was in their shoes and I was coming up, I'd read that contract and say, wow, I have no say in anything I do for the rest of my fucking career uh, just to fight on Friday night fights? I don't think so. You know, oh, what? You're going to give me what? You know, 50 grand? Because, you know, they're club fighters. <coughs> you ain't going to give them millions. I mean, come on, you know. The, 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 so all they're not gonna do it. Uh, only the dummies and those ones ain't gonna be uh, worth watching. You know what I mean? So Friday Night Fights has basically just been uh, been turned over into. This is what we'll see. We'll see a bunch of uh, you know very low level fighters. The first couple shows he does, he'll put on good shows. You know, because he has to get people to come back. Uh, same with PBC and, you know, all that. It'll be some good shows at first. And then it's going to be, you know, the worst guys he has. That's all it is. It's going to be the uh, two opponents fighting each other, you know. And then he'll put on one decent named guy <coughs> on the headliner. And uh, he'll be fighting uh, outmatched and uh, overmatched opponent. Okay, mark my words, hold me to this, that's what's going to happen. Um, you know, just look at the PBC so far. Okay, I picked every single winner correct without even trying, without even having to study a tape or anything. You know, it was just like, Don't, this, this guy's going to win. You know, uh, clearly this guy's going to win. Every single one of them. What kind of fucking fights are those when, you know, I don't even have to think about it. You know, it's just, that guy's going to win. You know, I mean, who wants to watch those kind of fights? Nobody. Nobody wants to watch those fights. That means the kind of fights I'm going to stay home and watch. You know, if I wanted to see, uh, I mean, I would stay home. I, I stay home for Friday night fights even. You know, I'm a family man anyway, so I don't go out. But, you know, I'm just saying people who go out, why would they stay home to watch fights either between two opponents just fighting each other? Or, um, you know, a headliner beating up on somebody. Yeah, like, they're not, it's useless. You know, there's no reason to. If anything, they'll set their DVR or something, maybe. You know, um, but, like, e even me, someone who's just a diehard boxing fan, I watch these cards, I watch all of them, but they don't impress me. You know, actually, they, honest to God, put me to sleep sometimes, and I have to have a family member wake me up in the fucking middle of the next fight. You know what I mean? And I'll hit rewind and be like, God oh, damn. 
you know, but, I mean, man, you know, this is, like, oh, and by the way, they're keeping Teddy Atlas, so that lets you know right there why Teddy Atlas was always riding Heyman's dick, okay, because this deal has been in the works for, like, four months now, okay, uh, so he knew about it, you know, he knew that the, he better start, uh, you know, he, he, you know, he better, uh, not say anything about Heyman, and if he does, it better be good, uh, or else he's gonna get canned. You know, he he's he, he was smart in that way. He knew how to keep his job. You know, and he did what he had to do to keep his job. You know, now he's still on Friday Night Fights, but it's PBC now. It ain't Friday Night Fights. It's PBC. Uh, I don't know the exact date of when the first PBC is gonna come on. I haven't even looked into that. I just know that the deal's official. Um, PBC took over Friday Night Fights. <laughs> So no longer are you just going to see, like, random guys with random managers uh, just on the come up, you know, getting uh, some limelight on Friday night fights and, you know, uh, fighting each other. It's just going to be only Al Heyman fighters. If you're not a Heyman fighter, guess what? You ain't getting on the card. Okay, and Friday Night Fights, that's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit, ESPN. Like, if they're trying to... You would think since they had Friday Night Fights for so long, they would understand that, you know, uh, that helps the sport. Well, how is it helping the sport now when a fighter is not going to be able to get on there unless he signs with Al Heyman? And if he don't want to sign with Al Heyman, then he don't get on Friday Night Fights. But if he, uh, you know, and, and, and if he wants on Friday Night Fights, he has to sign away his whole career to this dude, you know, who um, honestly don't build his fighters into greatness. You know, he maneuvers their careers perfectly, so they fight a bunch of trash cans and build up a fucking record. And then when they get in the ring with some a good fighter, they get spanked, a la Lomachenko, Gary Russell Jr. You know, it, it, it happens every time. It's going to happen with all of his guys, man. None of them are being brought up properly, you know. Um, Thurman getting Guerrero was a good move. I'll give him that. Let's see who Thurman fights next. <clears throat> Because he better not take him backwards, <clears throat> and he better move him forward. Put him in there with, like, an Amir Khan, uh, a Marcos Maidana, you know, um, uh, someone decent, you know, a Kel Brook. Um, he can't, a Sean Porter. He can't take a step back, you know. Too bad we couldn't see him in there with, like, a Tim Bradley. Uh, even though I think Tim, you know, if Tim is, is shopworn, like, the possibility of him being shop worn is there, uh, then Thurman might be able to win. But if if Bradley has just been fighting like that just to please the fans, and then when he gets in front of a big puncher, he goes back to his normal style, then he, he would win. But it, it, it's all up to what Bradley has left. Uh, but, you know, you're not going to see any other, you know, the the... How can I put it? The, the little guy getting a shot on Friday Night Fights is over. It's done. It's never going to happen again until PBC falls apart, if it does, you know. Um, I can't believe it, you know. If there's one thing someone should not fucking touch, it's Friday Night Fights. Uh, I heard he was going to put on ESPN cards and shit earlier, but I didn't know... Until I heard the rumor a while back, but I thought it was just a rumor. Before that, I just heard he was going to put on PBC on ESPN sometimes. Then I heard, no, he's taking over Friday Night Fights. I didn't want to believe it. Well, it's true. He, he took over Friday Night Fights, you know. So all the young guys that are out there trying to, you know, get a little spotlight that used to like to, you know, uh, go fight all around the country, and then Friday Night Fight calls them, boom, they come fight, go fight a few more fights all around the country, and then boom, Friday Night, then, you know, repeat, repeat, not Al Heyman, okay, what he's going to do is, you know, you fight on Friday Night Fights, and these guys, these are going to be the guys, the club fighters that have to fight, you know, twice a month, uh, every month, they have to fight as often as possible to make enough money to survive, um, Al ain't going to be giving them enough dates, Period. And he also, in his contract, he has, it says, he doesn't have to give you one fight ever. He's not obligated to give you any fights. 
So if you sign with him and then you're like, dude, what the fuck? I'm broke over here. I need a fight. And he says, well, we ain't got none for you. You can't go off on your own and get a fight. That's what they, they don't understand, you know. Um, if if you go, well, f fuck it then, out. I'm going to go fight Joe Cragen over in Ohio. And he's like, no, you're not. I didn't say you could take that fight. You know, and he's that dude. You know, um, it, he, he has his own little plan and you're following it. All right, you're not going to deviate from it. He's not going to let you go have some fights here and there because he's going to say, if you lose, that fucks up my shit. So, no, you're not going to go take that tough fight for some decent money. Um, you're just not going to fight until I got a fight for you. Like, do pe people understand what I'm saying here? Um, these young guys are going to get screwed. Screwed because they're going to sign with Heyman. And then, you know, if for what... Mm, I'm not even going to say that, but... All right, say uh, he don't like what he sees, guess what? Now you're under contract with him, and he's just going to use you as an opponent against, you know, he's going to let, uh, oh, he's going to put you in fights where you're completely outgunned, and then your career's over because you're just going to get beat on and beat on and take L after L. Then he'll give you a softy, let you get a win to look good to come fight his next guy, get a beating, you know, instead of having you just keep fighting and learning the craft, all that shit's gone. You're not going to be able to just sit there and, you know, have your manager move you all around, you know, learn your craft, and then come up. All right? We wouldn't have had fighters even like a Manny Pacquiao if that wasn't allowed. You know, you need that. That's like part of boxing. That's how you develop. And, you know, Al Heyman does not develop fighters properly. That is known. Okay? He develops, like, uh, some stars that can't fight as well as he says they can, but how many people can be stars, okay? You have to have some kind of flashy athletic ability to even fall into that category, plus be a fighter, you know? So what is it? There's a handful of those guys. What happens to all the rest of them? They don't get to just float around and fight whenever they want and make a little earning and just have that pride that they were a fighter. No, no, they're just going to take beatings, all right, they're not going to be able to go uh, fight here and win, fight here and lose, go fight here and win, fight here and win. It's just going to be, you know, he's going to put him in with eight softies, get him a fucking like 8-0 type of record, 10-0 type of record, and then put him in with someone who's going to fucking kill him. And then they're going to have a 10-1 and record, they'll be on the next show and get fucking killed. You know, it's just how it's going to go. Um, if there's anything someone, like even no one, like, not Golden Boy, not Top. I don't care. No one should fuck with Friday Night Fights unless uh, they're going to just allow anyone to fight on there. But he's not taking over Friday Night Fights. He's just making Friday Night Fights PBC. All right, Friday Night Fights should stay Friday Night Fights. If, like, Golden Boy wants to put on a card on ESPN2's Friday Night Fights, which, like, they've done before and stuff, that can happen, you know. Um, but now, nope, nope. It's not going to happen. If a top-ranked fighter wants to fight on Friday Night Fights, you know, someone they got coming up, they need him to fight on Friday Night Fights. You know, get him that exposure. Now it's not going to happen. Nope. Uh, I mean, at least, like, uh, you know, top rank got the true TV deal now, so they'll be on regular TV also, just like Al now. I'm sure Golden Boy is going to reach out and do the exact same thing. Uh, and that's because Friday Night Fights is taken by PBC. You know, he got 165 guys uh, with something like that, maybe even less. You know, you hear the number, but how many of them can actually fight? You know, they're 10, 20. That's it. The rest are all opponents. You know, it's terrible, man. Uh, I'm pissed. I am. I'm pissed. I know it's not going to end well. I know damn well this is not going to end well for Friday Night Fights and the up-and-coming fighters. Uh, he's going to take a whole generation of up-and-coming fighters and ruin 80% of their fucking careers. You know? You got a problem with me saying it, oh well. But that's what's going to fucking happen. Okay, I don't care about fucking Al Heyman. He's fucking Al Heyman. He rolls with fucking Floyd Mayweather. He's fucking good for boxing. I don't give a fuck if he brought back fucking boxing to normal TV. If he ain't putting on good fucking fights, then what's the fucking point? It won't last. All right, and these fucking uh, these fights are not good fights, you know. Like I just said, I can I've picked the winner of every single one without even 
thinking about them. You know, I just got on here. I just hit record and fucking told you who was going to win. You know, pretty much exactly how they would win, too. Uh, it's not fucking rocket science. Whoever Al Heyman wants to win is going to win. Just look. Who, who, who would it benefit Al to win? Oh, oh, the, him. He's winning. And he's won every time. They've all won that, his, that was supposed to win. All right, and it's not going to fucking change. Every once in a while, you'll get, uh, you know, a uh, Broner Madonna situation. Something that was not supposed to happen, but it did. You know, but that's what, twice a year? Twice a year? The rest of it. Man, let me know what you think of this. I can rant on this forever, man. Uh, Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Peace.